Hello folks, my name is James Conrad, and I'm this goofy looking guy off to the left. It's my pleasure to introduce to you the 70-697 exam, which is entitled Configuring Windows Devices. It really is, its focus is supposed to be on Windows 10, but you'd be surprised how much of it actually includes all of these cloud services we see off here to the right. In fact, I'd venture to say maybe 30, maybe 40% of the stuff that I'll be teaching in this series really relates to all of these things. And this is kind of Microsoft's cash cow going into the future, Office 365. And one reason for that is obviously because it's subscription-based, but also because it stretches and reaches into... Intune and it reaches into Azure. We're going to see here coming up that if you have Office 365 and you're in a corporate environment, very likely that you'll probably be taking advantage of some of the Intune features and Azure and they all branch off of Office 365. So that's a big part of what we'll be looking at here and it's very exciting technology and actually it's a really good product. So I think you're going to like a lot of what you see there. We also have a lot of things relating to identity. This is pretty cool. Microsoft's giving us a lot of different ways to log on now. And instead of making them just kind of boring and long, complicated passwords in Klingon or something like that, uh, they're actually almost fun. <laughs> actually, they are fun. Uh, one of those is we could use a lot of different biometrics here with Windows Hello. Uh, you can use optical scanners. I haven't seen many of those out there yet, but they have those. I'll demonstrate, actually, for you a fingerprint scanner. There's also current cameras that are available now that can even recognize your face. And you can even do things such as... Oh, enter in pins and some other things that are available to, to log in and prove your identity. We'll be addressing a lot of things there relating to supporting authentication and authorization. A big part of what we have as well in Windows is our storage, and we need to figure out how to configure our storage so that we can create things like storage spaces and DFS client caching, uh, all these sorts of things, OneDrive, which would be actually out here in the cloud, all those sorts of things, and then how to access things like these shares to your individual users or your groups. A big part of that's going to be understanding things such as NTFS permissions or share permissions. And we'll be taking a look also at how to secure this kind of data with things such as EFS or BitLocker. Lots of different technologies here that we'll be involved with. We're also going to need to know how to avoid Windows 10 disasters. Oh no. Sometimes it just crashes just like that. Sometimes you will never see it coming. And you got to know how to recover your files, recover the operating system, and get back in business as soon as possible. You know, we've got a lot of different things to address throughout this series. Here's the exam objectives. I've got a tiny URL for you to follow along with up there. And that will get you to this page where you can see all the various exam objectives all the way down through here. Lots of different things that we will be touching on. Hyper-V, we'll be taking a look at remote connections. We'll be looking at networking, all sorts of things. So stick with me for our next nugget where we'll discuss Office 365. Let's go ahead and get started.